Hello Aces, welcome back to module six, lesson five, creating your loyalty program that's gonna drive your customers to come back again and again. Did you know that a 5% increase in retention of your existing customers would produce as much as 100% increase in your profits? That means that maybe if you can keep five people out of 100 people, you're gonna be able to make 100% more of profits that you can put in your pockets. That's a lot of money that you can save by focusing on your repeat customers, which not a lot of people do. All people care about is, hey, how can I get new customers? That's what people put their focus on, and oftentimes, that's the wrong focus. Did you know that 50% of reward cards goes unused, just like any stamp cards? You see it, people, you, people give it to you, you take it and you throw it out the trash. What does that mean? That means that people, restaurateurs, suck at bringing customers back. That's what it means. Did you know that number one reason why restaurants fail to get their customers to use these loyalty programs is because their customers feel disengaged. They don't feel like it's fun. They don't feel like it means anything. That's why they throw those cards away. Whereas if you think about the people that are using McDonald's Monopoly deal plays, a lot of people use them and a lot of people are engaged. People talk about it through dinner. Hey, do you have this property? Do you have this property? And they trade. That means that McDonald's had done something right with their Monopoly campaign for their loyalty program and which we'll go into that a little bit more later most effective way of collecting personal data is through loyalty programs so then that way you can market to them a little bit better you get their numbers you get their address you get to know how often they come back again and again that's the reason why loyalty programs are so so important now what is a loyalty program a loyalty program is a game guys a lot of people see it as a way to bring in new customers uh, and to uh, retain customers but no guys we need to see loyalty program as a game in order for us to create something that people will use their challenge within this game is the program that you design and the, the reward that you give them is the prize that you give them. So just think about that a little bit. Your job is to make this game fun and engaging and keep them engaged, keep them feeling like they have to play this game again and again. Now, you might be asking now, well, how do I keep them engaged throughout this loyalty program? A loyalty program is a loyalty program. A stamp card is a stamp card. How can I make this a game? It doesn't make sense, Wilson. And that's the reason why we cover the three secret ways to keep them engaged. So take out your notebooks, take out your pens and start taking notes. This is the monopoly style that I was talking about that McDonald's does such a fabulous job on. Number one is don't limit any barriers to enter. enter. According to Thax, customers spend more than 10 to 15% more on average order value when they enroll in your loyalty program. That means they spend more just by being in your game. So what does that mean? Make it super easy and accessible for your customers to join your program, to join your game. Just like how it does not make sense to only play Monopoly on a Monday and a Tuesday, why would we put restrictions on loyalty rewards that is only applicable on the weekends? This is something that I see again and again that happens to a lot of people is that they put restrictions on their loyalty program because they wanna be able to maximize their slow times and during the peak hours, they don't want to reward their loyalty program people. And that is a huge mistake when they have these barriers to enter. It doesn't make their customers that are joining these games feel like it's fun, that it's rewarding, that, oh, there's so many different limitations. I don't wanna join anymore. I don't wanna play anymore. That's when people feel disengaged. Next up is to tear down hurdles. Like when the last time that you were playing Monopoly, you were sent to jail, you skipped a go, and you missed your 200 bucks. How does that feel? 
it feels terrible, guys, and which is the reason why you wanna tear down all the hurdles. That's exactly how your customers feel when they come in, they, they really have all the intent to support you to become a loyal customer, yet they can't find their reward cards, and yet when they give you their number, you can't find them in the system, and they just cannot feel like that they're engaged. They cannot feel like that, oh, damn, I missed out, and they don't wanna play this game no more. So make it super easy at their contact info so you can actually search their profile in your system. A lot of point of sale systems already in, uh, inputted this feature. So make sure you talk to your point of sale systems and actually ask them about, hey, is there such a thing in order for me to build this whole loyalty program out? A lot of them already offer something similar to this and you can customize it to your specific campaign in your specific game. Make it fun, make it easy to become a loyal customers with you. Next up, everyone like bonuses, okay? In corporate bonuses, how does it feel when you go by, you pick up a chance card and they tell you to go to go and awards you 200 bucks? It feels amazing, which is the reason why you should surprise your customers with extra reward points for ordering specific drinks or menu items. Make it fun for them, make it like, oh wow, I'm getting something different something out of the ordinary, something that is not scripted, that allows them to feel that they're being taken care of, makes them feel like they're VIP. Surprise them with a special drink, just to make them feel like they are a VIP. This is a very important message that I'm sharing with you. Make them feel like a very important person. That small gesture goes a long, long way, guys. And consider this as a marketing expense. You just by giving them a drink that is worth to you at cost 50 cents, this could very well become your talking points in their dinner table. And that brings in a new set of customers to your doors. And that's the reason why consider these free gift freebies that you give out as marketing expenses. It will also guarantee a much more loyal following for your restaurant. Bonus, so like I said, everyone loves bonuses and that's the reason why I'm giving you guys one bonus to this. In corporate referral guys, in your loyalty program, make sure to incorporate a referral. Once again, with a monopoly analogy, how fun is it to play a two people monopoly versus a four person Monopoly, much, much more fun when it's more people. So it's much more engaging when you have all your friends and you're able to battle it out. And that's the reason why you wanna be able to incorporate a referral program in your loyalty um, program as well. Add an element where when they, whenever they refer someone, they're heavily rewarded, either a big discount or a free item or a free drink whenever they refer someone to come and join your uh, referral program. You spend hundreds of dollars on ads and billboards and radios and all these things just to have and attract new customers. Why don't we spend those monies and reward it to our existing loyal customers? They are the ones that become your loyal fans and would spread the message for you to reward and to market for you. So they can actually easily grow your loyal customers base by doing this, by you rewarding them, by you heavily incentivizing them to bring in their friends and family because they enjoy their experience. But first and foremost, you must guarantee them a pleasant experience. If it's a bad experience, there's no way they will refer you to their friends. On the contrary, they'll be talking about you, but in a very negative light to their friends. Now it is your turn to craft your ultimate loyalty program with the four secrets that I've shared with you in mind. Make it fun, make it engaging. If it is something that you're willing to play and engage in, then that's probably a good sign that it's a good program. But if it is boring, if it is like any other programs out there, then probably not the best program and probably needs some work. In the link below, download the worksheet so you can work on it together. So in this lesson, we talked about how you can create a loyalty program that brings in your customers again and again. In the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about how do you connect with your top thousand loyal fans, so then that way you can build a seven-figure restaurant. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.